Hey guys, it's Sky Schooly here, a staff writer with biz.com. Today I'll be walking you through the Rippling software to show you just how easy it is to onboard new employees with it. Let's dive right in. Here you'll see the Rippling dashboard. To onboard a new employee, you simply navigate to the Hire tab up in the top left corner. But before starting, I do want to mention that the information you enter when onboarding a new employee will facilitate the Rippling automation on the back end. For example, entering what department someone is in might drive automation for things like what time off policies they should be linked to or what courses they need to take. So to get started with the onboarding process, you'll need to tell the platform basic information like who you're hiring. Rippling has its own applicant tracking system or it can integrate with some third-party ATS and it can pull candidate information directly from these. It also integrates with background check systems, so you could pull data from there, saving you time there as well. For this example, we'll select someone from the ATS. All candidate data is integrated, so as you start typing in the candidate name, they should come up. And once you select them, that data is populated for you. Moving on, if you remember that I mentioned the information you put here will drive that rippling automation. So you have the option to input things like employment type and exemption status. As you see, there are several employment types to choose from, and this can be totally customized to match the type of workers in your specific business. This next step is selecting what type of documents will be sent to your new hire. Rippling offers pre-built offer letters or you could build your own. And for this example, we'll launch documents such as this offer letter with equity, Illinois agreement selected, the payroll handbook, parking guidelines, and CCPA. Next up is specific role details like their work location, manager, title, start date, offer letter expiration, whether they have any direct reports, you can even select who those reports are. Um, and their department. The level and teams fields are optional, but they can be used to facilitate further automation. Next is compensation details. What's cool about this is that Rippling will automatically prorate the employee's salary based on their start date. So you wouldn't have to do any extra steps um, when it comes to payroll here. You can indicate if they'll be receiving any upfront payments like sign-on or relocation bonuses, as well as when they should receive that money. So your selection here will automate that payment for you. The next tab is some additional offer letter information like company specific variables. The details you include here will populate onto the offer letter, which you'll see shortly. Rippling can also generate EEO reporting for you, which is nice. If the administrator has any custom fields created, that will appear here. For example, this company has a custom field for including referrals, but a custom field could be really anything. So these next screens you'll see Will depend on what features your company uses with Rippling, such as device and app management. For this example, this company also uses Rippling's device management. So you could select whether this employee needs a company device. If you want to assign a company device, you can either select the device from a collection of device inventory that Rippling can store for you, or you could purchase a new device directly from the system. In this example, we'll just purchase a new computer package. And then you can easily edit where that device is sent to. In this example, the company is also partnered with Rippling's app management. So this is a step where you would review which applications are automatically installed on the device based on the employee's role. Rippling has a password manager, so you can automatically share certain credentials with the new employee, which isn't a feature that we saw many competitors offer, but we thought it was pretty cool. If the new hire gets a new work email, you can have that automatically set up for them here. If you previously selected to include an offer letter, that will appear here. You can customize and edit this before it goes out. And then the last step to onboarding here is just reviewing the summary of all the information that you just entered. This next tab will show you what next steps will be taken. These are the documents that will be sent to the new hire for signing. This is the data that's collected. And then these are the things that Rippling will do based on your previous selections. The last step in the whole process is sending out a personalized email to the new hire that will include a link for the employee to click on. Then they will be walked through their portion of the onboarding process. So just like that, your employees are onboarded within minutes. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And for more business-related content, subscribe to our channel.